Pope Francis has been known for shuffling things up in his first few months of papacy, and in his latest move, he's replacing his controversial number two at the Vatican. 58-year-old Archbishop Pietro Perolin will replace controversial Cardinal Tarsicio Bertone as Secretary of State in what is described as one of the most important jobs in the Vatican. Normally, when a new pope is elected, he starts with a completely new staff, but Pope Francis kept former Pope Benedict staffers while planning a timetable to overhaul his staff. And one of the positions that has been closely watched is that of Secretary of State. Bertone has been described as a divisive figure and one of the main reasons Benedict resigned early this year. Bertone reportedly wanted to resign soon after Benedict did, but Pope Francis asked him to stay on the staff until a replacement could be found. Francis hopes he can help improve morale in the Catholic Church, as a series of controversies have provided many setbacks. As Bloomberg explains, Pope Francis, who in March inherited a church dealing with the fallout from sexual abuse scandals, is trying to rejuvenate a faith that is in decline in Europe. And Francis might be hoping that rejuvenation can get a boost from his recent appointment. CNN's Vatican correspondent says by naming a consummate insider, Francis appears to want to reboot the Vatican's operating system back to a point when it was perceived to operate efficiently, rather than scrapping it entirely. The BBC calls this decision the biggest move for Francis since his inauguration in March, adding the Vatican is in the early stages of major reforms. Pietro Perolin previously served as a Vatican Undersecretary of Foreign Affairs for seven years. He would take his post as the Vatican's new Secretary of State in October. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.